some of this while we're waiting and interact. Oh shit, I just did and lose that. Is it still on? You sure this is how you want to do it? You want to do this? How are we doing guys? Getting some supplies ready here for all the big hits we're going to have. Sir Stephen, we are pretty new. This is our second break. Yep. First one went well, especially for the guy that bought Jordan. <laughs> yeah, had a big break. The first one uh, pulled a blue auto and a, a blue and a regular auto and nine base cards and a few uh, fortune tellers. So, yeah, he had a real good break. Yes, we did get rid of the white sheet. <laughs> Who did you have in the last break? Yes, sir. We like to we like to keep you guys happy, so we'll we'll go after a Christian Yelich, something good. Yeah, there you go, man. Cool. Thanks and welcome. Yeah, thanks for thanks for giving us a shot. I hope you have a lot of fun. That's why we're doing it. It's fun for us. We miss sports, and uh, it, you know, we just like the interaction and entertainment value of it. And uh, hopefully, it's fun for you guys too. Uh, I don't know if the individual that um, asked in the, on the eBay uh, messages is in here, but um, I'm not sure that we have any Braves that didn't sell. We can look through the list real quick. Um, we did, I think, pretty much get it completed. We're still waiting for a couple payments, um, and we'll get this thing started here real quick. We're just going to see if we can't field these last few payments, and uh, we'll get going. Awesome. Hopefully we'll pull some big hits for you guys. Okay, we're just going to enter this payment information for, uh, we just got received a few payments. Getting ready to start here. Just waiting for, I think we have three more, four more people that haven't paid. If we don't hear from them, we'll set the timer right now for two minutes. If we don't hear from them in the next two minutes, we'll put the players on the, on the, on the clock. Um, 
there are some good players in there. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton, Kyle Lewis, Kikuchi, uh, Keston Hira, King Griffey Jr., and George Brett are still unpaid for. So if we don't hear, I have the timer set up for two minutes, uh, then we'll see if anyone else wants them. If not, we'll take them, and uh, we'll call good. So the timer is running, and we will um, go after that regardless. So who are you guys teams? Who what do you guys who are you guys uh, missing right now? Who are you missing watching? Just got a couple things here. Inching closer. Although those people that I just read are still um, not accounted for. So that's the only, there's only six players. Well, we have other players that didn't sell, which if you guys want any of those guys, that's fine. If you, if you want, do you want to read them, at Eddie, the ones that didn't sell? Archie Bradley, Robbie Ray, Ramon Laureano, Hinder Inciarte, Dwight Smith Jr., Hanser Alberto, David Price, Yolmer Sanchez, Rysel Iglesias, David Dahl, Ryan McMahon, Dowell Lugo, Tyler Alexander, Willie Castro, Danny Duffy, Hunter Dozier, Andrew Heaney, David Fletcher, Tommy Lastella, Astrobal Cabrera, Adam Ottavino, Adam Hazley, Didi Gregorius, Colin Moran, Trevor Williams, Eric Hosmer, Tommy Pham, Ty France, Brandon Belt, Blake Snell, Tyler Glasnow, Willie Adames, Ronald Guzman, Rufmed Odor, Willie Calhoun, Randall Gritchick, Rowdy Telez, and Eric Thames. All right, so it looks like uh, Jeff wants Duffy and Dozier. Uh, we'll just do one ninety nine a piece. So if you want to put send uh, three ninety nine to the uh, PayPal, um, that would be great. Um, Jeff and yes uh, we're gonna those guys are available we're, we're, those guys are out of time so uh, who's available is Giancarlo Stanton Kyle Lewis Yusei Kikuchi Keston Hira Ken Griffey Jr. and George Brett uh, Todd you want Snell uh, just the players we just read for 199 the guys that I'm, these other six that are not, I will give you a, a decent price. You want Lewis, Griffey? Okay, so so let's let's just talk about this. Um, 
I'll, I'll tell you what these went for in the auction and then somebody make an offer and whoever makes the highest offer in 15 seconds can can have it the Griffey went for 1550 Does anyone want Griffey for 1550? If not, what would you pay for Griffey? We're doing Griffey first. I got 10 for Griffey right now, 11 for Griffey. 30 seconds. 12 for Griffey. Fifteen seconds. Twenty for Griffey, Stanley. All right, Stanley got him for twenty bucks. Um. Um, we'll put the email, we'll put the PayPal address down there. It looks like, Stanley, if you're on for 20, 20 bucks, let us know. Otherwise, we're at Putting the PayPal address up there um, so that I can see uh, payments uh, for for these players. I'm not sure what that means. Well, well what about uh, Hira? Hira went for 1950. Who who wants to make a bid on Hira? Okay, Stephen Adams wants Hira for $22. Kevin, do you have someone else in the break? Here at 23. 15 seconds on here. We're at 23 with Michael Howley. Kevin, we just read a list of um, of guys that are available. Um, all right, Mike's got it for twenty three bucks. Uh, Mike, the the PayPal address is up above uh, the Richard underscore Erdl at Yahoo dot com. As soon as we get that, we can get that going. Um, we had someone say twenty dollars for Griffey, but didn't confirm. So right now, I guess if if I don't hear a, a confirmation um, from uh, Stanley Davis. Is who said twenty initially, but I haven't heard back. Then we'll we'll put Griffey at twelve fifty. Let's go twelve fifty because I haven't heard back from Stanley. We're, we're twelve fifty with fifteen seconds. Does he want Griffey for more than twelve fifty? All right, Jay Hunter gets Griffey for twelve fifty. Please PayPal that over, and uh, that'll be the end of that. So we've got here and Griffey gone. Does anybody want? Uh, Kikuchi, Kyle Lewis, or Giancarlo Stanton? We got... <laughs> well, if I have a payment in here for twelve fifty for Griffey, then you're out of luck there, buddy. Live auction is more fun than the eBay yeah, auction. <laughs> this is way more fun. We should do this next time. 
Um, okay, uh, let me see what Kyle Lewis went on auction, and we'll see what we can do with Kyle Lewis. Um, Kyle Lewis went for 806. 806 on auction. Does anyone want Kyle Lewis for eight bucks? All right, here it is paid for. So here it is paid for by Michael Howley. Thank you, Mike. Um, yeah, Lewis. Lewis is at eight bucks right now. Ten bucks for Lewis. Anyone want to go more than ten bucks for Lewis? Whiskey and wallets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, I got ten seconds for ten bucks on Lewis. Does you want to go higher than ten bucks on Lewis? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, five, five against. Please send ten bucks to uh, to that email account above, and we will uh, get that player on to the next. And um, for for five against, what is your first? Name and last initial, just for tracking purposes. All right, thanks, Five Against. What's your What's your first name and first, or your first name and last initial, just just so we can put it in our spreadsheet. Anyone want Stanton or Kikuchi for two bucks? We'll start Stanton and Kikuchi both at two bucks. And Ryan, we got that. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Awesome, man. Good luck. Okay, Kikuchi and Stanton, we're at two bucks. Anyone want them? All right. Thanks, Jack. I appreciate it, man. Uh, we got your money for uh, Griffey. Thank you. Okay, Kikuchi, you want them for two bucks, Stephen? Or Elgin? We got two people there. Which one? Oh, and McCown wants Stanton. All right. Um, we're at two bucks on, on Kikuchi. Anyone want to pay more than two bucks? If not, then one of you guys. All right, Stanton, you, you can have Stanton for two bucks, Todd. PayPal out two bucks over when you get a chance. All right, Adam, Adam, Stephen. Okay, you both want it for two bucks, so we're gonna have to. Someone's got to got a break here on Kikuchi. Two fifty, Elgin. Oh, Todd McCount. Todd wants uh, Snell as well. All right, so we need two. We need four bucks then, Todd. That's great. Thanks. All right, Kevin, Kevin Elgin. I need two bucks or two fifty for Kikuchi, at the email address above. All right. Anyone want George Brett? I think that's the last one we've got left. Besides all the all the other names, we can read one more time if anyone wants them. Anyone want George Brett? It's one ninety nine, dude. All right, Todd. All right. I got the Kyle Lewis payment. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Three bucks on Brett. Anyone want to? Van, you want to go higher than three bucks on Brett, or you're good? Five for Brett. All right. Anyone want to go over? We got five for Brett. Six, Jeff went six on Brett. Seven on Brett. We got seven. Van was first at seven. Van Herndon is first at seven on our on our instant messaging here. Hey man, I would love to do this all the time. Ooh, ten bucks, Jeff. You want Brett for ten bucks? We got Brett. Uh, Jeff has 10 bucks on Brett. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, 11 on Brett, five, four, three, two, one. All right, sold. Van, I need 11 bucks for Georgia Brett. Yes, Kevin, I got the money for, um, I got the 250 for uh, it's Kikuchi, yes. Sorry guys, I don't know if there's a lag or not, but we did a countdown. We're, we're done with 11 bucks on bread. I, I apologize. Van, you want it for 11. I know, dude, I'm about to go get another beer myself, Michael. Um, <laughs> Jeff, I'm sorry, man, it didn't update. Uh, okay, listen, um, does anyone want any of these players on the other list? Um, it's, I mean, it's, I think we sold Snell. Someone said they wanted Snell anyways. Let me see if I got any paid on that. I don't think we got money on Snell. I have Todd down for Snell. Todd had Snell and somebody else, right? He did. Um, okay, yeah, he said he's sending money now. Great. All right, Todd, thank you, dude. Um, I think, uh, Steven, uh, Todd's already got Snell, but thank you. Um, uh, the address is above. Let's put it back. Let's put it in there again. It's been a while. Well, we're entering it right now, guys. Sorry. Thanks for your per uh, participation. This is fun. Um, I'm going to get a refill, and then we'll start cracking this thing uh, when I get back. If anyone has any questions about any of the comments, I don't think there was any Braves. Um, when I looked at that list, just real quickly, I didn't see any Braves, but we can double-check it real quick before we go. And then let's we'll just get cracking on this thing. Yeah, we do have Young for Stanton, Todd. Thank you. Just getting ready to start now, and thanks for your patience. We had a few unsold players and a few players that they didn't pay for, so we just ran a little quick, fun live auction, which was more fun than all of the eBay auctions <laughs> put together. 100% true. We'll start here. Start getting some plastic off of these guys. Break some seals. All right, love these chrome toppers. We'll do like we did last time and save those for last. do this let's have some fun um, go ahead and comment let's uh, let's get this thing going who you got and who you want to see Altuve King Chapman Hernandez rookie Wong Lopes Bogarts <laughs> Travis I like that he bought Bryce Harper because he's on the cover of the box trying a new strategy <laughs> I love that strategy. Hopefully your life is better than mine. <laughs> right? Uh, Kuna, fortune teller. Uh, also, I don't know if you saw that. Kino base. We only got one bazooka back in the last last case. This, I, I would like to see a couple more this time. But we did get some really cool double short prints in the last case, which was fun. Nola Escobar, Lazardo Base, Rogers, uh, Freddie Freeman, um, what are those uh, tarot cards or whatever they're called? Yu Chang, rookie, Alize rookie, base. Checking for bazooka backs, logo swaps, no name plates, Logan Webb rookie. Fletcher. Oh, here's our first hit, guys. What do you think? What do you think? Hira, 
Logo swap. Hey, autograph. Wow. Woo. Nice. Ow. Whoever just bought that is feeling good about things. Um, very well played and very timely hit. That's fun. That thing is out of 99, boys. 90 <laughs> or 55 out of 99. Michael is happy. I bet Michael is happy, man. Congratulations, Michael, on your hit. That's a sweet one, man. It's logo swap, Keston here out of 99. That is a big hitter. Nice one. I love it. Makes me happy. Let's keep it rolling. What do you say, fellas? Uh, I don't remember where I was, but let's go through here. Logan Webb, and then I'm sure there isn't another one in there, but just double check. <laughs> That's always fun. Yeah, the live auction paid off. The live auction, you know, I wonder what kind of, well, it might be kind of fun to just always have a couple of players in live auction, some big name guys, and um, just kind of do it right before the draft. Um, yeah, that would be fun. It would be kind of fun. It, uh, hopefully then people would tune in a little bit too. It's kind of, kind of awesome. Um, Todd, you paid us twice. We'll make sure that we get you back. Oh, Todd, if you paid us twice, we will definitely get you back. Jake Frey, the auto, or I mean, not auto, base rookie, <laughs> opposite of the auto. <laughs> My bad. Burt, rookie. Dubon, base. I love Gypsy Queen. I think it's, it's neat because there's a ton of rookies in there and... There's lots of different options for short prints and variations and stuff. You can grab it all rookie, rookie base. Yeah, we can message Jesse's. you and throw you in a random if you if you prefer that, Todd. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty we're pretty easy guys. We're we're here to have fun and and uh, and make it a good experience for you. Hopefully, those of you that are back from last time enjoyed it we did have a little technical difficulties but i think overall it was pretty fun and i think that uh, once you received your stuff you see that we're we do care about your stuff that you're buying and we want to make it the best experience as possible so tatis jr fortune teller that's pretty cool um, no variations there we do have day jobs and stuff too so um Stuff will be, we'll, we'll get it out, um, but it will be, you know, t two to three days probably before we get everything out. But we were, we are always working on it. I promise you that. And if you have any issues or you need it quickly, um, feel free to shoot us a message or whatever it is that you, that you want. We'll do the best we can to accommodate. Is anybody else having trouble with the volume? We can turn up the sound source here. We just don't want to blow anybody out. So looks like we got a blue coming. Starling rookie, Moran rookie, Shed Long, and a blue Evan Longoria to 150. Very nice. So Longoria to 150. And I think that happens to be one that did not sell today. And he didn't sell in our last one either. And there was a blue and a no name plate last time. I know that Evan was purchased by Nelson Brandon. Oh, sign. Nelson. Nelson got it. All right, Nelson, there you go. You got a nice 150 Longoria. So that's a nice card. Well done, buddy. This is a full, complete case break. Ten hobby boxes. So on average, a total of 20 autographed cards. Base. Base. Bo Bichette, Wheel of Fortune, rookie. That's nice. Save that one up for you. So what other products do you guys like? Are you got any of you guys doing breaks on other on other sites? And what products have you enjoyed breaking? Um, we're kind of we love this, so we're thinking about continuing to do it. You know, in the future, I think we have another. We're either going to do two halves or a full moving forward. Um, Pete Alonzo base. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have any products or anything, there's the Elliot Fortune Teller, Robel Garcia rookie, Carter Key Boom. Uh, but if you have any products or something, we, you know, we can look and see what we can do to acquire some of that and spread it on if, if there's enough want to. Steven oh, something is, something is back upside down here. It's a Carl Yastrzemski short print, high number, 
So that's cool. Uh, the person that bought this also bought his nephew, uh, Mike. So that's kind of a cool um, little hit there. Um, the high number short print retired guy, Carl Yastrzemski. Yeah, Steven likes the tribute. That stuff is beautiful. Oh man, it's gorgeous. I love it too. It's really hard to get your hands on, especially being a little bit newer to the game, but it's really nice. And then Serious Relic Recovery likes Don Russ. We like Don Russ too. We're actually planning on doing a case break here in the near future of just mega boxes. They have an autograph in each one, and so we thought that might be a little fun. Yeah, it's a fun product. There's lots of different parallels and variations, and there's uh, cool, um, you know, hollow, hollows and, you know, the stat line serial numbered cards and stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff in that Donner's product. We like that too. And so, yeah, we're kind of planning on doing um, some mega box breaks, probably team breaks um, with the Donner's. But um, yeah, we, we like that product too. So that's good feedback. Thank you. A bunch of rookies in this one. Um, Sam Hilliard, Dustin May, AJ Puck, you know, all those guys in here. And Bryce Harper at the end, a little base Bryce Harper action. Since he's on the box, it's, you know, it's a, you, you got to count on that hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got something blue coming. Jeremiah likes Topps Heritage, which yeah. I feel like people who like Gypsy Queen probably like Heritage. It has that retro feel and look to it. There's a Woodruff out of 250. Pretty cool. Um, we've had... Woodruff gets some love. People like like him. Um, he's he's a good pitcher, that's for sure. And Hager's so, D. Hager's no. D. Up in here. Don't know if there's an inside joke with that, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> talking about male anatomy, or, or I don't know. I'm not sure what we're talking about there, but I like it. Maybe defense. I don't know. Maybe Nunez know. rookie. Maybe no. Todd, optic baseball. Oh yeah, man. We love optic too. Um, yeah, I mean, we can we can look at do some research and see if that's something we can attain. Um, I like Optic too. It just you know, it's kind of just Donner's another Donner's product. I, I, I like Optic a lot. I, I really like the the stock of the cards and the chrome kind of feel to them, which is really neat. I agree. And then Ira likes the Allen and Ginter, which reminds me a lot of the Heritage product, a lot of the Gypsy Queen. Product. Yeah, yeah, those are all like good ones. Dylan Cease rookie base, McKay rookie base. Uh, lots of rookies in this stuff. Anyone else got any? Uh, what's going on, man? Is is everyone working? Are you at home? Are you going crazy? Are you liking it? I know it's kind of like a. Everyone's kind of got their own way about them in this this time. Some people really like this. I, I'm not one of them, but um, this part's fun. There's a uh, judge, Ace of Swords, uh, Luis Robert uh, or Robert, depending on who you talk to. Uh, base. Yeah, I like the idea of doing the, the high number. I'm sure that they won't miss out on having Luis in the high number heritage this year. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they won't either. It's, it's you got to have him pretty much. I mean, he's, oh, look at that. Corey Seeger, no nameplate. That's a cool one. A cool one. Is that right on the front of the pack? No, I, I just went down there and oh. got it, but that's a nice one. Corey Seeger, I think he got bid on this time. Uh, Bo Bichette, by base. Oh, Hunter Dozier. Somebody just bought Hunter Dozier. There's a base for you. I like Hunter Dozier. He's on my keeper fantasy team. He's, he's a pretty good player. It's a pretty big league, but he's I like him. There's a noose base. I'm seeing a, a couple of comments on low sound. Are, are you still getting that? Our audio indicator showing that the audio should be good, and we've had some mixed results on what people are saying. So if, if it's consistently low, we can turn it up, but we don't want it to start distorting. Yamamoto. Hey, that's not a player's weekend, right? I think that's... I don't think it is, but... I can look at the code on the back for you. Yeah, you why don't you check the code? I can't see anything. Oh, there's a Jordan fortune teller. It's always nice. I like those ones. Jalen Davis, Pujols base. Yeah, hand me a base card. I don't have the codes memorized. Absolutely. But... It looks 
like the same code. Okay. It's worth a try. Yamamoto base is still better than no Yamamoto, I assume. Justin Dunn, rookie. All right, Todd, we'll edge this up just a little bit for you. If anybody has trouble with it being too oh, loud, we got something. Let us know. We got something thick here, boys. Ooh, boys. We got something here, boys. Ooh, what are we gonna get? What do we got? Oh, Chance Ooh. Adams hey, hey. with a pinstripe. There you go. Autograph relic. That's those are not that common. Would you believe that I pulled that same card <laughs> like two weeks ago out of a uh, out of a blaster box? That is one hundred percent true. I was there. I saw that with my own two eyes. It happened. So Jason, very nice. Congratulations. There it is again. Sleeved up there. Forty-five out of fifty. That is a slow serial number. Get that thing in a thick card card here. All right. Um, that's fun. Well played, everybody. Uh, and Logan Allen, base. So not a bad start there to the first box. Um, so we'll get moving here on the second one. Um, is the sound better? Are we doing are we doing better there? Yeah, we're still getting some mixed reports, but let me see if I can get you guys a little closer camera angle too. Yeah, and we're saving these chromes till the end because that's kind of a fun way to do it, I think. T's base, little Shohei Otani base. Thank you guys for the feedback on the sound. Yeah, feedback's important, man. We're not going to take it personally. You just let us know. Oh, there's a Bobby Bradley uh, rookie uh, logo swap. That's a nice card. Put that thing in there. Handled. It's kind of cool. Bobby Bradley Jr. Coveted rookie. A little short print action going on there. There we go. Very good. his base Kino base Michael Chavis fortune teller Bellinger base still no bazookas we'll get one I'm, I got faith. Berrios. Ooh, that one's dinged like crazy, but it looks like it's the only card in that box. But man, look at that corner. That's horrible. Yeah. How about do you <laughs> ding one, one card out of that? <laughs> it's crazy. Lizardo base. We got a fortune teller in this one. Oh, there's uh, Hira again. Fortune teller Hira. Hira, that live auction is paying. <laughs> live auction action is where it's at, boys.
It might be kind of fun to implement that. I'm not sure how you do it, but it might be kind of fun to try to get that yeah. going. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Strowman. Snelly. There's a Jordan rookie of the world. That's cool. Stockpile those guy that guy. He can hit. AJ Puck rookie. Yeah, Jordan is a pretty good buy in this. He has you know obviously his base rookie card, but then autographs and multiple sets, and then he has the fortune tellers and Oh well, we got something upside down in here. Not sure what it's gonna be yet, but it looks like it's a veteran high number. Jackie Robinson. Nice one. Love seeing pictures of that guy. Yep. That's really cool. That's one of the reasons why this set is so cool, and I think it's endearing to a lot of people. It just it, it doesn't forget the history of the game. There's a lot of like, you know, legends in here still. It's kind of it never gets old pulling a Hall of Fame, you know, icon of, of baseball. It's there's something about it, especially when they're short printed. It's kind of an, a kind of an added feature. I think that's kind of cool. So I think they do it right. There's a Burke rookie base. Oh, here's a hit, boys. We got a hit. We got an autograph hit here. Will Smith. Will Smith. We got a Will Smith in the last case, too. Will Smith autograph. James. Nice hit, James. Congratulations, man. That's a nice one. Dodgers. Will Smith. Auto. It's a beauty. There you go. Justin, I'm, I'll double check and see if there are any leftover Braves players. If there are, you can definitely still purchase them. Ender, NCR Day, looks like he is unclaimed. Yeah, if you want Ender Enciarte, you can ship two bucks to the PayPal account, and we'll uh, we'll definitely send all of his cards to you. And Mark Melanson. Oh, well, Mark Melanson, uh, the closer is still there. That's yeah. There's a couple guys. If you want them, go ahead and send two bucks a piece over one ninety nine, whatever, three ninety eight, whatever you want to do. However you want to do that, um, over to the PayPal account. If uh, you need that address again, just comment on there, and we'll type it in. But. Um, you can definitely have those guys if you want them. Starling, base. Cunha base, we got a blue coming. And Steven, this is one of the Oh, Gavin Lux. Blue. Really nice. nice hit, Gavin Lux, dude. I'll get the uh, camera up here so that we, they can get a good look at the cards there. Sure. 250. 200 out of 250. Gavin Lux. That is a nice one. Nice pull for whoever not hit that bad boy. That is a good one. We will get that one immediately taken care of. Gavin Lux, out of 250. Man, if this was a team break, the Dodgers would be crushing right now. As I look for the camera angle, guys, I just moved that for you. It's the, the fine compromise between getting zoomed in enough to see the cards and making sure that we don't get our hands out of the picture there. Alonzo Base, Kevin Biggio, Yip Chain Base, rookie. Awesome, thank you guys for letting us know, we appreciate it. New Space, oh, another blue here coming, incoming, m &S. Joe Jimenez out of 150. 35 out of 150. Joe Jimenez blue. Solid.
Leba base. Oh, there's a Bellinger. The star. It's a nice one. Isan Diaz base. Isan Sintra. Isan Maxima. Oh, I got something here. Sam Hilliard. Dustin May. Vlad Jr. Fortune Teller. Nice one. Too bad that's not one of those fortune teller autos. Right? Jake Fraley base. That was a pretty uneventful one right there. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> There was no rookie, no nothing in that one. It was about like my average pack that I bought. <laughs> JD Davis. Aaron Judge, fortune teller. It's cool. I like that. Buster. Savale, Cease, Moron, Shed Long, no Gypsies, I mean, uh, Bazooka, Sat Gallon, Tim Lopes, tons of rookies in that one. By contrast from that last kind of boring one. <laughs> uh, Brennan McKay, base, base, base. Oh, we got a hit. We got a hit. We got a hit. Auto hit. Allard, Colby Allard. Nice, nice, very nice. Colby Allard Auto. Edward. Nice hit, Edward. Congrats on that. It's a solid one. Colby Allard. Auto. Boom. Chalk it up. Okay, so I've got a little Bogars. Okay, story. Boom. Doing all right, boys? Logan Webb, Andrew Heaney, Hendricks, DeGrom, Eurobase. I like to mention the ones that were won in the live auction beforehand. Hero base. <laughs> that was the first time that we've done or seen that, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Well, we got something backwards. That's usually been a veteran so far. Yep. Ricky. Oh, no nameplate. Nice. That is nice. Short that is a short print. short print. That's a Ricky Henderson with no nameplate. Very, very cool. That is a neat card. And that is a good one. Zach, congratulations. Attaway, Zach. Let's go. There's the Ricky with no nameplate. How about that? Pretty awesome pull. Good for you, man. We had a bench no nameplate last time. Yeah, I think we looked that up and it was like 1 in 665 packs or something <laughs> so, along those lines. Super rare, yeah. Hunter Harvey. So yeah, we've been fortunate to get a couple of those in a couple cases that we've, we've cracked here. And CW, did you see a bazooka that we missed? Or are you just hoping for one? There's a Baez Wheel of Fortune. It's a nice one. I like Javi Baez. He's a really good player. He's a little bit of a hothead, but man, can he pick it. And he, he makes some spectacular plays, and he can really hit. Exciting young guy to watch. And I've grown up a Cubs fan because of WGN, of course. Gratterall. Yamamoto. Oh, no nameplate. No name There's another one, and that is... <laughs> 
hoping we're hoping too. If it was up to us, every every <laughs> card we open would be a no name plate no or doubt. a bazooka back. Carlos Correa no name plate. So that's a good that's a cool one too. Um, I know that somebody does have Carlos Correa as well, so that's a good hit there. Um, congratulations on that short print. Um, they're not all that common, so it's fun to hit ones with good players and that people are fans of that buy. So that's that fun. George, George hitting it. There you go, George. Oh, there's a Gavin Lux base. Solid, solid. All right. Here we go. Yes. Next box. Sorry, we are we are ready for some Mike Trout's. Yeah, man, I, that's one thing we haven't seen much of, even just a regular old, um, you know, just the base. Even I haven't seen hardly any. I think maybe one so far. So hopefully we'll get some more Mike Trout's rolling up in here, or maybe you'll just hit the the chrome refractors at the end for you know each pack or something. With an autograph on it. With an autograph or. Maybe even two. Who knows? But. All right, let's get going. Here we go. Box number what, three. Let's get it rolling. Dylan Cease. Rousseau. Riley. Demerit rookie. Lux base. Let's see if those if any of those have. No. I don't see any nameplates, but still Lux base, and that's always good. Can't really get enough of the as many rookies as you can compile, especially with the guys that are supposed to be as highly loved as he is. Is I think you can stockpile as many of those and be in good shape. Rogers, Grisham base, Reynolds. Oh, there's a Duffy. Someone just bought that on the live auction, so that's kind of exciting. Even though it's just a base, it's still your guys getting hit is fun, regardless of what kind it is. I I go around and check these things out and buy some players here and there or teams. It's fun. Kyle Lewis, there you go. That's another live auction guy. That's a winner. Uh, Yasmani Grandal. Justin's oh. asking what we think about the 2018 Topps Chrome Acuna debut rookie. Oh geez. Well, if I had one, I would be a lot more impressed with it. Um, how about a Tommy Fan black and white out of 50? Oh, nice. There's one. I do think that was one that nobody purchased. <laughs> I think that was one of the ones we read off beforehand that was available for two bones. Uh, but that's just the way life goes. But Tommy Fan out of 50, that's not a bad, not a bad thing. And Jeff asked if we had any Merrifield, Mondesi Dozier, or Duffy hits. He's been away for a minute. I don't um, recall any hits from those uh, nothing. Shows. Nothing like we've had several base. I don't recall anything anything of significance quite yet. But um, we've hit a lot of what Merrifield's in our last case had two autographs. Um, he seems to get hit a lot in everything I watch. So we'll we'll hold our breath. Logan Allen base. Yeah, and of course we always like to do a, a recap of the hits at the end of the video. And so for people that can't stay on for the entire course of a case which takes a while to open yeah um, you can go back and watch the video and just fast forward to the end you'll you'll see us going through all those hits yeah we'll recap it when there's there's the big ones uh, Acuna fortune teller base fortune teller yeah I definitely agree Ricky Henderson was something else nobody stole bases like that guy no. And to hit with power and the way he got on base. And to play for as long as he did at the level he did was impressive. I mean, at the end, he wasn't near what he was at the beginning, but nobody could have done that for that long. He was still a really serviceable player in the major leagues when he was 40 years old. Pretty impressive uh, physical specimen and player. There's a Trout at least something there, uh, the star. Little, little uh, subset action for Mike Trout. You ask and you shall receive. This is a fun group tonight. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for the interaction and making it making it fun. I mean, it's always fun, but oh, we got a hit in this one. Let's see what we got. There's a Tim Lopes base, Xander Bogarts base, and ooh, Keyboom. Ooh, nice. Carter Keyboom autograph. That one was one that 
uh, I was like, man, people love this guy, and they know something we don't. Just like last time, when we hit a double short print at Miguel Cabrera last time, and you know people were bidding him on him like crazy. Carter Keboom, autograph. Zach. Zach, is that the same Zach that won the other one? Congratulations, Zach. If it, if you are, you're having a good night. If not, then congratulations anyways, because that's a really nice, a really nice poll for you, man. Congrats. I think we already went through most of this, so cool, man. That's always fun. That doesn't get old. I do love that name. I do too. It's a great. It's a great name. Solak base. Yes. Well, I don't like the way that these this box has been collated, Gradrol. It's just like turned around for no good reason, and then it's hard to. When you're turning the cards around, it's hard to keep the logos in perspective, so I hope I didn't miss any. But if I did, all these cards are shipped, so uh, you will find them and you'll get them regardless if I miss something. I don't think I have yet, but um, I'm certainly not perfect and I don't claim to be, so. Zooch, base. Doesn't your wife tell you you're perfect all the time? <laughs> Imagine that and then the exact opposite. <laughs> and that would be closer to the truth, my friend. <laughs> Zach Collins base. Isan Diaz. Well, I you know I hope that K Boom does take Rendon's spot in the order, just because that means that baseball will be up and running again. Nothing against Rendon, but <laughs> well, and Rendon's now in in uh, in Anaheim, anyways. He's over with the Angels. So I, I would imagine he probably will slide into that spot. Well, I guess we'll see. Time will tell. Hopefully we get a place in baseball this year, man. That's the thing I'm hoping for. I saw something about maybe 4th of July type of deal today. There's another Freddie Freeman strength card. Um, but, yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't know what the timeline is going to look like. I don't know what it will actually look like when it happens, whether there will even be fans or whether it will start in Arizona. Um, but I would like to see it come back sooner than later, man. I I miss it like you can't believe. But at least it's brought us into this and we get to make some new friends and do some cool stuff that we've, we haven't done before, so it's, that's fun. Dubon Base. Oh, there's a no name plate. Toronto Blue Jays, Lourdes Goriel Jr. Also was another popular um, player on the auction today. Drew significantly higher today than it did last week, um, so congratulations on that. You guys know more than we do, and that is good. Not that it's hard, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> no name plate, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Nice pull. Murphy base, Strasburg base, Eloy base, Lourdes base, Miggy base. Oh, there's a logo swap, and it's Snelly. Someone just picked that up in the live auction as well, so uh, congrats on that. Winner there, Blake Snell, logo swap. Nice short print. Well uh, played. Well played, Todd. Out of way, Todd. Woo -woo. Logo swap. Blake Snell. Boom. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Steven is saying, dude, really? <laughs> <laughs> he got bit up the last Todd, one. Todd has been lucky. Anthony K. Seth Brown. Yu Chang base. Savale and C space. And George, uh, in addition to the Angels, the Mariners need some pitching. We're Mariners guys. I don't think we've shared that sorrow with everybody yet. But... <laughs> That's to contend with the Astros and A's. Yeah. It's a tough division. It although is. 
a little bit less tough now that Garrett Cole left the Astros. That definitely helps a little. Brendan McKay base. And then uh, Tatis uh, Jr., fortune teller. Those are good. If you can stockpile that young star, nothing wrong with that as well. And Steven did, uh, he pointed out that he wanted both here and, and Snell. And very close. Yeah, that was the the one that came up, I think, at a time or on different timelines. And he, I, you know, I'm sorry, dude. We just have to go with what's on our screen and move on with it. We could have probably auctioned those players off for the way you guys were going. We probably could have made a million dollars and auction, still be auctioning players off. But uh, we wanted to get to the break for those of you that were not auctioning, and we appreciate your participation for sure. I'm sorry it didn't work out for you this time, but um, next time you'll get it. We got a blue in this one. That's kind of fun. Todd said he was making a run on a Gypsy Queen hanger pack as he was watching and pulled a Will Smith auto himself. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. When it's going good, it's going good. You better go out and buy a lot of ticket while you're at it, Todd. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Matthew Boyd out of 250. 129 out of 250. Matthew Boyd. Matthew Boyd can strike people out. I know that because I have him on my fantasy team. Lazardo base. Ooh, there's a Robert base. I was hoping for. It was in a spot that could have been a, a bazooka. Uh, Judge Swords. That's nice. Kikuchi base. Another live auction winner. Yeah, Robert bazooka, bazooka back would be very nice. Oh man, I, I don't even know what that's worth, but it seems like they're so hard to get that imagining the hottest player in the set with the bazooka back is probably not a bad thing. Jeremiah pulled a Bo Bichette Indigo Auto to 150 a few days ago. Ooh! Speaking of Bo Bichette, I just pulled a base and a Yelly Fortune Teller. Solid. Nice pull, by the way. That's amazing, man. Good for you. What kind of pack did you get that out of? This kind, probably. Because that's probably much like... Well, I, mean, I, I don't know if it was Hobby or not. That's true, I guess. I don't know that answer. We just ordered a, a case. Ooh, there's a Honus Wagner. Ooh, nice. nice. Honus Wagner, retired high number. That's cool. Whoever's got Honus, I know someone does. I remember... Oh, blaster box. Speaking of, I just started to say we, we just ordered a case of blaster boxes that we plan on doing some breaks on. What do you guys think? Do you like these player breaks? Do you prefer a team break? What are your thoughts on that? There's a Jordan fortune teller. Bubba Starling. Cunha base. It's a nice Jordan. Jeremiah likes the team. The team would be a whole lot less work for us, that's for sure. That is for sure. Yeah, having the random teams is a fun idea. Yeah, random is kind of fun. Oh, we got a hit in this one, boys. There's a Yordan base. I think that might be the first base Yordan we've got. I think we have two fortune tellers, but no base Yordan so far. So what do we got? Oh, Dustin May. That's a nice one. That's a really good hit there. Rookie auto. Dustin May. Ryan. Let's go, Ryan. Congrats, buddy. It's a nice card right there. I love it. Love it. We've certainly enjoyed doing the player breaks and agree that team is fun too. You, if you buy a team, you get more chances at getting cards. But on the other hand, we can get more guys in on this if we sell individual players. And so we'll probably do some smaller breaks with some teams in the near future. Yeah. 
I think, yeah, I'm not sure what, I mean, we may do one more, we may do one more player break with Gypsy. I think we have got one more case of the hobby since we have the other, um, the 20 blaster or the case of blaster boxes coming, not 20, 40, 40 boxes of that. Um, I think we may do teams with that. Um, I don't know. We, we, we haven't really decided. So feedback is good on that. Yeah, Steven just pointed out the same thing. He said uh, player's good when you're busting a lot of boxes, but team and random works well in the lower volume. Yeah, I agree with that too. That's that's a good point, man. Thank you. Uh, the feedback is great, guys. I keep it coming. I, we want to know what you think because ultimately, you know, we do this mostly for fun and, um, and entertainment, but we also want it to be a good experience for you guys so it is fun and entertainment because if it's not a good experience... I wouldn't qualify that as entertainment at all. So that's definitely not what we're going for. So we do appreciate the feedback for sure. Let me take a swig of this drink over here real quick. I'm feeling a little parched. And then we'll get going here on this box. Hopefully, good luck, boys. Let's get some more hits, some more fun ones. Maybe we can hit some more low number, some of those blue stars. It's always fun. We got something upside down in this one. So far, that's been uh, veterans, but we'll see. Zooch Collins base rookies. There's a hero base. Uh, that's just an upside down Hunter Dozier. Oh, oh, there you go. Players Weekend. Yeah. And Hunter Dozier is also one that was bought in the auction, <laughs> which is actually quite remarkable how many pulls we've had from players that were not sold originally or did not get paid for that are hitting like crazy. So, congratulations on the Hunter Dozier. Players Day or Players Weekend, whatever they call that thing. Very nice. Cool short print, um, and I'm glad that you got it. That's awesome. It's uh, more fun when you guys get them than when we got to figure out what to do with them when they're done. So good for you, and hopefully you can enjoy it. We haven't seen a lineup card yet, and we keep crossing our fingers. Those look like the coolest card in the whole set. For sure. I haven't seen one yet. In the in the case, in, well, we're not quite through a half, half yet, but we have opened a, a few. Well, we've opened a fair amount of, uh, of uh, retail just because we can't go to the store without buying a pack or two of something. At least I can't. And uh, so I've opened a fair amount of that, um, and I've seen some cool stuff pulled out of it, but I have not seen a lineup card yet. Hopefully we'll get one tonight. That would be fantastic. Is that a little better, guys, for light? I don't I don't know if it was bothering you or not. It's getting a little dark in this room. We, we were just going with natural light earlier, but it's starting to get a little later over here on the West Coast. So I'm going to turn that light on. If it bothers you, I can turn it off, but um, it's a little easier for me to see like this if it doesn't bother you. We did just get a swap, a logo swap. Willie Castro, I think that might be, uh, I don't think that was a, was a one. I think that's probably one that wasn't, if I remember correctly. Which is incredible, <laughs> really. It's just incredible. But Willie Castro, logo swap. been trying to check the backs as we go but we will certainly sift through and check the backs looking for bazookas for you guys and they're almost always in the third or fourth position so i've been checking the third and fourth cards every time um but we can yeah we can definitely what you like i said you're all these cards are shipping um if there's one in there we'll get it and i mean as far as that goes we can check um you know moving forward there's a starling Marte, the world um, if you want me to, I, I mean, I don't mind scrolling through them each time so you can see every single card. That's that's not a problem at all. But typically speaking, the short prints are in the third or fourth, sometimes fifth position. So I've been trying to check those three every time. Um, but that doesn't mean I won't, I can't miss them. So I, I'm happy to check if you want. There's another Gavin Lux base. I think that's the third or fourth one. There's a Dijon um, fortune teller.
I'm sifting through these and no missed bazooka bags. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and scroll through the ones that we've already cracked to, to see if I missed any. And if, if, if I did, we'll definitely show you. Um, there's a Cinder Guard Magician. That's kind of cool. George is asking about our opinion on Nolan Arenado, but he, uh, you don't have the complete is a player who, and we'll, we're full of opinions. So. Oh, I have tons of opinions. And actually, no, it's funny that you mentioned that because I was, we were just talking about this because I was digging through some of my, um, some of my older boxes of stuff, just kind of finding some things I could send with, um, some of this stuff. If you don't pull one of these veterans, we try to send you something of that player um, and I found a Arenado rookie Bowman card, and I'm keeping. The, oh, I got a hit. We got an autograph hit here, boys. Ooh, Shed Long, Shed Long of the Mariners. We like Shed Long up here in the Northwest. Josh, congratulations. Josh hitting the shed. I love it, man. Shed Long. He's a popular player up here. People love his personality. Little guy with a lot of pop um, and a lot of personality. Uh, we really like him up here. I'm really hoping that he. He can be a good big leaguer for a long time. Shed Long, Seattle Mariners, autograph. Nice hit. And although you haven't finished your question, I can say that uh, Nolan Arenado is a player that we would like to have on our team. Oh man, uh, Arenado is. He can. He's pro. He can. He's probably the best defensive third baseman, and then he puts up ridiculous numbers. I don't know what he would do outside of Colorado, but. Most of his bombs aren't wall scrapers. Uh, there's a yard on base. That's, those are always good. Let's see what we can do about checking these for some bazookas. There's another Aquino base. I think that's the third or fourth Aquino base too, so that's good. Stockpile some of those. Waiting for the big one. Oh, Ooh, I red. I haven't, we haven't seen one of those. I don't even know what that means. Um, but let's check it out. There's a long base. Oh, who is it? Corbin. Someone has Patrick Corbin. That is a nice card. Um, and it's number one out of ten. Chris. Chris, congratulations, man. Number that's a 10. that's more than likely a 199 player right there coming up with a one out of ten serial number. That is a Really nice hit for a very low cost uh, combined shipping purchase, man. That is good for you. Congratulations. Um, really neat card. We, that's out of a you know a case and a half, and all the retail or all the yeah all the retail we've opened. I've never seen a red before, and it's number one out of ten, which is kind of cool too. Yeah, the first of the print run is a neat is a neat thing to get. So congratulations. That was Chris, right? Yes. Had a baby. Good purchase, man. Yeah, Jeff, uh, he is undervalued in the card world. Uh, if you see some really good players that just play in the wrong market. Mm -hmm. Well, Matt Chapman is too. We were talking about that today. He, he went unsold, I think, today. And Matt Chapman is a heck of a player, but he plays in Oakland with this guy who also is like a top four in the game prospect, Jesus Lazardo. And he's got like 10 different autographs in this set. I'm exaggerating. But... He goes for 15 bucks, but he's a top four prospect in the game right now. And, you know, his player card goes for 15 bucks. And I haven't seen a case break of Gypsy Queen where he or AJ Puck weren't pulled as autograph. So um, it's kind of weird how that works. And, yeah, like Eddie was saying, man, that, I mean, those, that and Nolan Arenado is undervalued as can be. But they're if they're in the wrong market, man, it's curtains for their card values, which is weird. Until they get traded to the Yankees or the Mets. Or Which the eventually they will, or the Red Sox. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's Austin Meadows, fortune teller. We haven't heard much from Austin Meadows yet. Last time he had a really good box, um, or last time we opened a case, he had a really, Austin Meadows was a good one. He had an autograph and several. I think he had an autograph on a fortune teller. Either. Oh, he did. He did. He was the fortune teller autograph we pulled. That's You're absolutely right. Um, and then he also had a couple serial numbered cards, and he hit in the chrome too. So he had a big one last time yeah, it seems there's a lot of really high prospects in this set as rookies more than your average year for sure 
Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's true, and I, I hope it's true. I don't know if it's just because that that's what all that we're all waiting for, you know. I don't know if it's being blown out of proportion, but it does certainly seem like there are a lot of really, really good prospects on the horizon. And I think, um, you know, when, when we get to play again, hopefully sooner than later, there's a Tatis face, um, you know, that we'll see these guys in action because most of them are ready um, to try it, so... I'm excited. I hope I hope we get to see these guys. It's it's a it certainly seems like a good crop. I mean, Aquino came up and hit a million home runs in his first hundred at bats last year. Uh, struggled a little bit after that, but he still had pop. So we'll see. He might be a 215 hitter, but he might hit 50 jacks, which most people will take these days. So. Yeah, Kevin. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a good evening too. And the break will populate onto YouTube. We'll leave it on there for you to review after things are done. Thanks, Kevin. Verlander, Ace of Wands. Jeff is a Royals fan. He feels much like a Mariners fan, I presume, on many days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just kind of... Although they've won a couple of championships recently. This, this is true. We haven't been close, so I, uh, it's not really a fair comparison, although they're kind of in the doldrums with us right now. Um, they do have some good play. Oh, there's a rookie uh, logo swap. There we go. Uh, Burke. Brock Burke. Brock Burke logo swap rookie. That's a nice short print. We like that. Short print rookies are even better. So congratulations on that. That's a, always fun to find some, some uh, variations in short prints in here. That's what we're after after all, right? Brock Burke. Logo swap. Yeah, I recognized your YouTube handle, Serious Relic Recovery. Um, and he's the one that got that Meadows oh, last Colorado. Time. Yeah, yeah congratulations. congratulations. Yeah, that was that was fun. Um, I trust that it showed up in good shape and on time. Opposing hitters, <laughs> right? Michael Chavis, fortune teller. Yeah, I I think Verlander is basically Nolan Ryan of our era, or or of this the younger era. I mean, Nolan Ryan was my era too, but um, but like kind of the next generation, the closest thing we're ever gonna get probably to the next Nolan Ryan, I think. And Scherzer's kind of cut of the same cloth, I guess, but he kind of wasn't as dominant as early in his career as Verlander was. He's pretty much gone start to finish as being one of the best pitchers in the game, which is. Pretty impressive. Pete Alonzo base. Great, yeah. Thank you for the, that feedback. We, uh, we're definitely trying to make people happy. Babe Ruth. Retired short print. So congratulations to our Res Babe Ruth. That's a nice one. The Babe. Always got to like the short prints, boys. It's kind of what we're here for. Digging for them. feedback uh, serious relic recovery it said it showed up fast package perfectly okay good thank you I appreciate that um, we're trying to do our best to make this a good experience for you I appreciate the, the feedback there's a Hira um, fortune teller another <laughs> uh, live auction uh, winner there uh, I guess kind of just because someone else defaulted but still pretty good one Hira's had a really good case in this Three plus boxes or yeah, whatever. Already a great case. <laughs> yes. Freely base. Uh, I ran into a couple bargain box like clearance 2019 Gypsy Queen packs at Target the other day because they're stocking stuff that oh we got a hit in this one. They're stocking stuff that's old um, because they don't have no one's making anything right now because most of the stuff's in Texas and so I bought one of those and got a oh wow we got a black and white auto oh boy Michael Baez black and white auto out of 50 19 out of 50 rookie auto Michael Baez 
autograph. How about that, kids? Congratulations, Greg. Ooh, Greg, you are one happy, happy man. That was a nice hit. 19 out of 50, Michael Baez, auto rookie, black and white, let's go. I mean, that's all I need to say, right? Let's go. Woo! That is awesome. It's fun when you turn one of those ones that you're expecting to be a normal autograph over and it doesn't look like the rest of them. You're like, okay, let's go. We got something We got something cooking here. Yeah, we've seen a couple things uh, that have been pretty exciting. The, the red border card. Yeah, Yamamoto base. Murphy base. Strasburg base. Giancarlo base. I think there's one in the live auction as well. <laughs> I wonder what a Robert black and white auto would be worth. Jeez, I don't know. Anyone know? That would be fun. Let's get that. <laughs> nope, no nameplate. Ooh, that, I think that looks like it's Yuli Gurriel. Let's make sure. Yep, Yuli Gurriel. No nameplate. I know somebody has him. I remember invoicing it. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny the things you remember going through this process, but I know somebody's got Yuli, so congratulations to whoever does. Nice little short print, no nameplate. Short print, there we go, Yuli Uriel. Congrats. All right, next box, let's go. We're almost to the halfway point here, guys. It's been fun so far. I hope you're hanging in there and having fun. To get this cracked, I'm getting parched again. Might have to take a little sip of the beverage. I'm excited for the chromes at the end too. That's always kind of fun. You guys like waiting until the end on those, or does it, is the suspense just too much to take? <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to change my ways, but I'm I'm interested to know your feedback anyways. <laughs> Bichette base. It was in a position I was hoping for Bazook or Logo Swap or something. Yeah, Derby City asked uh, first time in our break and what happens to the variation cards like Babe Ruth and Willie Mays. Um, they were available in the draft and I believe that all of our retired players were purchased in the draft. Yep, yep. Even, even one that wasn't paid for, well, a few. Griffey was one. Um, George Brett, uh, there was a couple that were available that we auctioned off live beforehand. If they don't get paid for or they don't get auctioned, we, we put the bigger names. We give everyone an opportunity. We just read it once, though, and for the kind of the more common player. Um, and you have an option to buy those for two bucks if you want. Um, if they don't sell in the live auction, uh, I mean, in the eBay auction, then you can buy them in the live auction and just pay pals. But um, yeah, so the, the, those guys are actually in our auction. Ooh, there's a blue Gene Segura. Gene Segura, number to 150, 115 out of 150, Gene Segura. Yeah, so they're actually listed in there. So when we do our next one, um, go ahead and look for them. Uh, they will be there somewhere. Um, sometimes they go for quite a bit of money, even though they're, you know, they're super short printed, but um, we do send something out. If you win a retired player, we will send something out. Sometimes if we don't have a card that matches that player's name, um, you know, I, I was able to resolve a couple things last time um, just by finding a team they liked and sending some stars from that or whatever, but um, you'll get something. Yeah, Justin, thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a good night. Um, we'll uh, have this up on YouTube for you to view after if you're interested in what you got with all your players there. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, Justin. Appreciate it, man. Have a good night. The Serious Relic Recovery said that the Robert Redemption Auto went for $3.99 on eBay or was listed for $3.99 on eBay. That's a, that's a nice pull. That is a solid, solid pull. Yeah. There's a Trout Fortune Teller. So Trout's name starting to get a little more common in our mouths for, for uh, the Trout winner out there. Uh, 
it'd be fun to see something big on him. I mean, I haven't seen, I mean, we've seen a lot of quantity um, on some of the, because he's got about one of everything, which he should, but it'd be fun to see a big one on him. And Steven's saying that he's sensing that the second half of this case is going to be on fire. I think you're right, man. I hope you're right for sure. Uh, there's Chris Bryant, King of Swords. Bernie McKay, base. We got some stuff going here. We got some stuff. Yeah, man, the, the last case, man, the first, the first like, box had two Yordans in it. Two and Yordan autographs. Autographs, and one of them was numbered out of 150. It's crazy, a blue one. So, yeah, I mean, oh, we got a hit. We got a hit. You guys ready for this? What do we got? Oh, Cease. Dylan Cease, rookie auto. Chicago White Sox, Dylan Cease, rookie auto. Boom. I know that somebody won that also. Michael. Michael. Let's go. Nice pull, Michael. We've had a couple feedbacks liking the chrome at the end. Okay, good. Good. I like it at the end too. It's kind of fun to have something, a big finale, right? Because you just, you can't, we don't know what's in these packs or these boxes, but we know if we open the chromes, there'll be some, a lot of happy people getting something that's a little different. And hitting them in the good spot there, Leva. I don't think we had any Geo uh, autograph hits. Do you recall any uh, short uh, prints for Geo? Not this break. Um, last break, we got the redemption, the Geo Urshela. That's what we're talking about, right, Urshela? Um, yeah, not Giancarlo Stanton, right? I don't think many people call him Geo, but I just want to make sure that we're talking about the right person. Yeah. We haven't got any big hits of either of them, but. Um, I know last case we hit an Urshela Redemption Auto, um, but nothing nothing of, of super significance here yet. Dustin May base. Will Smith. There we go. We got a bazooka, hey. and it's somebody that somebody bought. It's Soraka. Look at that, boys. Bazook. Hit it. it is Michael Soraka bazooka back cool man Right, uh, that was with a Dustin May base. Nice solid pack. Congratulations, Braves fan! I remember the guy that bought that. It was a bought almost all Braves. You must be spelling Michael wrong. Or maybe here, do you have this? Is it? I think his name's Michael. I think his first name's Michael Munoz, Nola. Spelled Soraka. Oh, I see. It's MJ. MJ, let's go. Nice hit. A little Soraka bazooka back. There's a Dylan Cease fortune teller. So Dylan Cease is on fire right now. Between the autograph and the fortune teller, we're just calling his name a lot. Bubba Sterling Face. Another Acuna base. That's four or five of those already. It's a good start for the base Acunas. And a bunch of fortune colors too, I think, two or three so far already. Austin Riley base. Chris Bryant. Bobby Bradley Jr. base. Rook. Christian base. There's a Yelly strength. Aaron Judge base. Yelly Yelly.
Kyle Lewis. Base. But again, another guy that was one. Ooh, there's no nameplate. Let's go. All right. No nameplate. Chicago White Sox, Yasmani Grandal. No Derby City, thanks for stumbling onto our page. Hopefully we see you back and I agree. The silver would be nice. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming, man. Appreciate it. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, fellas. We'd appreciate it. Um, check us out as often as you want. Even if you're not um, in the auction, we, we appreciate the company and comments. It always makes it a little more fun. So um, subscribe. You'll know where to find us. If you see the red dot, you know that means we have something new. And uh, you can check us out. We'd, we'd really appreciate it. Logan Allen base. AJ Puck base. I think it was base, yeah. Those ones that are upside down, it's like, it feels like it's hard because I keep the logo swap area that's like in the wrong, it's always pointed and covered, it seems like. So that's the kind that might get by me. Oh, there's Dion. Neon, Dion Sanders. Retired short print. Gotta like me on Dion, man. That guy is crazy. Um, he was some kind of athlete. I would argue that Bo Jackson was better, but um, man, you can't really argue with the kind of player he was in the NFL. Hall of Famer for sure. And he played in baseball for, I don't know, five, six years. Pretty incredible that those guys could pull that off. There's a Nico Horner. I don't. That might be the first Nico Horner that we've seen tonight, even in the base. So that's a good thing to see if you're a Nico Horner owner. Pulled the auto of him in the last case. Bryce, base. Nixon Zell, Fortune Teller. Kikuchi, base. Another winner for the five. guys do uh, happen to subscribe and catch one of those live auctions then you can be the most fortunate person in the world by bidding on one of those in the live <laughs> auction and... we got a hit in this pack guys uh can you read? okay what do we got what do we got oh my goodness if it isn't Lourdes Gurriel Jr. again autograph this time look at that Stanley Stan is on fire, Stanley. Atta boy, congratulations. Another one for you, my friend. Well, look at that. Lourdes Carriel Jr. Otto. Y'all know something we don't know. Unbelievable. Nice hit, man. Lourdes Gurriel, feeling it, doing the bull dance, <laughs> feeling the flow. <laughs> Base trout. Oh, there's no nameplate. Oh, no nameplate, Lourdes. Okay, that's what the other one was. So, Gurriel on fire. Baez and Eloy bases. Yelly base. Oh, we got a blue in here. There's a Gurriel Jr. base. Anthony K. Jose Iglesias. The person that bought him bought only him. Um, so good for you. Congratulations. That is out of 250. 114 out of 250. Was it Iglesias Blue or Indigo? I don't know which one's which. I, I will admit it. Does anyone know? You need to teach me if you know. Because I, I should know that, but I just don't. So, uh, anyway. <laughs> and even if we're taught, we probably won't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Making two... <laughs> I'm really not that smart, so... I, 
might not be able to teach me anything. But... Making two variations so close to each other. You, yeah, you can't tell apart when you even when you stack them on top of each other. The only way you can tell is by the number. It makes it hard for me to remember just because I think it's kind of dumb. But I, I mean, I like the serial number cards. I just don't like that they're both. There's a Vlad Junior base. I just don't like that they're looked at exactly the same, and you can't really tell. It makes it hard to know which one's which. I don't know. There, but Seth Brown, the Rosarina. I like that name. I just like to say it. It's hard to say, but there's a Nola, Ace of Wands, Ozzy Albee's base. Cody Bellinger base. There's a Glaber Torres, fortune teller. We haven't called his name much tonight. Hopefully we can see some more of that. I wouldn't mind seeing some of him. He's a really, really good young player as well. Another one of those guys that, you know, you just wish you were watching right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's not, so. Drink real quick, boys. All right, Chrome's for later. Yeah, Donruss does get the older players in the in the mix quite a bit, um, and it is fun to see him in there for sure. Brendan McKay base, Obel Garcia base, Car Kaboom base, Kaboom, coolest name, probably the coolest name in baseball right now. Car Kaboom, Kaboom, however you want to say it. Lazardo base. Oh, there's a logo swap. Adam Adovino. That's cool. Adam Adovino. One of the very few Yankees, I think, that did not get picked up in this is Adam Adovino, actually. Um, but it's a cool card. Logo swap. Adam Adovino. Boom. Nelly Base, Michael Chavis, Fortune Teller, AJ Puck Base, Lateral, thanks, buddy, Justin Dunn Base. Gary Sanchez. Ooh, another Keston Hira fortune teller. How about Hira having a box? Sorry to hear about the lag. Not sure what's going on here. So, check 
Can we can it? restart the feed. feed if that's what works best for you guys. You're on base. I'll stop opening until we, re we decide what you want to do. Do you guys want us to restart or... Set everything and then restart the break if that's what you guys prefer. We are running on Wi Fi. Starting the camera to start with. I did a restart. They said restart should work. Maybe just the camera. Or See if you guys give us a little feedback, give a thumbs up. All good to go. We just had to reset the camera and okay. All right, I'll like start opening again. again. Sorry about that, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for letting us know that was going on. Sorry about that. We'll get back at it. Seville. Fernandez, Wong. oh, hit, hit, we got a hit. Oh, it's Dustin May again. Dustin May is the dude tonight, apparently. Ryan. Dustin May. Boom, shakalaka. Just absolutely crushing it. Isn't that funny how it seems to run in streaks it like is. that? It is. It's interesting. Because we had, I think, two guys that had two autographs last time, or three even, maybe, Yeah. that had two in the case, which is interesting. It's kind of, it seems like that would be way against the odds, but it seems like it's more common than it is not common. Yeah, wasn't there one box that we had, just within one box, we had two Jordan Alvarez? Yeah, the very autos. first box of our last break had a blue Jordan autograph and a regular Jordan autograph. It's crazy. And there's a Lux base again. Yeah. Zoom in. Okay. There we go. How's that looking, guys? We got a blue in here. Christian Walker, right behind the base, Christian Walker, which is interesting as well. In keeping with what we were talking about. And that one's 150. I still don't know if that's blue or magenta. <laughs> but it's, but it's. I think it's blue. It might even be indigo. <laughs> or oh yeah, that's what I meant. Indigo. Geez, I can't even. I don't even know what color is what. It doesn't really matter. It's out of 150, and it's a blueish color, um, of Christian Walker, <laughs> and it's out of 150. So, congratulations if anyone has Christian Walker. That's pretty cool. 150. It's number 16 out of 150. Thanks, guys. I uh, appreciate that. When we reset the camera, it's reset the zoom back to the 1x, so we're up on the 2x to give you a better view of the cards. I uh, guess we will give a rundown of all the hits at the end. Not to worry at all. We appreciate you joining us now. Yeah, thank you. Chris Bryant, Swords.
Larry is helping us out. Indigo is numbered at 250, and blue is 150. So that was blue. I've called everything blue, though. So the, I, everyone I've called blue that was indigo, I've been wrong. So, well, yeah, thanks, man. Uh, Larry, you said? Thanks, Larry. Yeah. Unfortunately, since we're calling them all blue, we're wrong more often than we're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which actually is kind of on par for my life, so that sounds about right. There's a Vlad Jr. fortune teller. Mm -hmm. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> Something upside down in this one. So that's always exciting. Face. Reggie Jackson. Yeah. I like that. Upside card. down. Cool, man. Reggie. Love that uniform, too. Yeah, those are super retro, man. It's cool. Reggie, Mr. October, with the short print. Nice one. Very well played, whoever is on Reggie tonight. Good for you. Those things taken care of and ready to ship out in good shape for you. Oh, is it the opposite? The the blue and the chrome and the indigo and the chrome are opposite. Uh, so the smaller serial number goes to the indigo, indigo and the chrome. If that's if I'm understanding that right. That's interesting. Another upside down card in this one. Mike Trout base, Pete Alonzo base, Kevin Biggio base, Jose Barrios. Not sure why that was upside down. It looks quite pedestrian, so I don't think that was. I think it was just a deke. Speaking of Owen Arenado, fantastic baseball player. Yu Chang, base rookie. a base rookie and that was base yelly base oh, so the blue is still more rare and the chrome just the Play numbering bet. is different oh we got another bazooka Willie Calhoun Willie 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 Calhoun bazooka back guys Willie Calhoun. Hit him to the moon, Willie Calhoun. Bazooka back. Cool. He saw him Diaz base rookie. Well, we have twice as many bazooka backs in this case. <laughs> that is 100% true. Rodriguez base rook. Burke. Bryce Harper, base. Tatis Jr. base. Barrios didn't Tony look base. like an armed forces. I didn't see the number 42 on his sleeve like most of the Jackie Robinson Day variations. The armed forces is different than the Jackie Robinson. Usually they're going to have some kind of green or... Did I, did I miss one? No, the one that was upside down that you had pointed out that looked pedestrian. It was Berrios. I can go back and look real quick if you want me to try to find it. Um, I don't remember how far back it was. It seems like you should have. Is there a 42 on his sleeve? There's a 45 on his sleeve. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that, I don't think that's it. But if you have Barrios, you're getting it. And if it is, then you're gonna be extremely excited about that. I don't, I, it doesn't. It looks like a 45 on his sleeve. Um, and I think they usually have a 42. If that's 
It is strange that it was upside down, though. There's a Brayden in the Joker. Bubba star on the base. Oh, there's a no name hat. No name. Yeah, Michael said that is the Players Weekend variation. On the Barrios? But then Travis said it's not the Players Weekend. <laughs> so I don't know. We got Emmanuel Clay's uh, no nameplate rookie. So good for you if you got Emmanuel Clay's no nameplate. He's been popular in our two cases. We had I think a, I think he had an autograph in the last one. Um or, or some sort of rare variation as well. So, manual place, no nameplate variation. We definitely appreciate you guys pointing those out. Uh, we don't always catch them, but as with all yeah, of I mean, the cards in the case, if you bought it, you get it. Yep, and if that is one and, and I missed it, it's my apologies. Um, I, it still doesn't look like one to me, but it, I mean, it, it definitely could be. It was upside down and that should be a pretty good tell. Um, so. Cooney Jr. base again. Cody Bellinger base. Ed's going to pull that one out and, and look at it and see if there's a code on it or something. Uh, Bobby Bradley Jr. base. Oh, we got another Aaron. Oh, this is Aaron Judge this time. Fortune teller. Aaron Judge, fortune teller. That's good. Casting here a base. Sure enough, it does have a different code on it. So it does have a different code, different. so it must be a short print. So good catch, man. That's a great catch. Good uh, eyes, guys. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Aaron Judge base. Eshelman rookie base. One of the two Aaron Nola cards. <laughs> That's so <laughs> confusing. Hunter Harvey base rookie. Oh, we got a hit in this last pack here, boys. Who is it? What do we got? Isan Diaz. Rookie auto. Travis. Travis, let's go. Isan Diaz. Boom. There she is. Well, we definitely appreciate the insider info, 5A against 183. Uh, I live in Minnesota, and that was the Players Weekend jerseys. Awesome, man. Well, that's that's awesome. Let's let's bring it back out and sleeve it up for you or whoever won it. Um, but let's get it out and look at it again so that people know. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess now that I look closer at it, it does look like it's pretty much just a solid gray. Um so that does make a little bit more sense. That's really a uh, good catch, man. I appreciate your help on that. And uh, definitely good that we can make sure that this thing is protected to whoever owns it. So good catch. Travis, I don't blame you for preferring the Harper auto. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably pretty reasonable, but. <laughs> I like you, Travis. You want to come to Washington and have a beer with us? <laughs> a nice consolation prize. <laughs> The nice consolation prize is if you want one of these boxes, <laughs> I can send you an empty one if you would like. <laughs> uh, or a 2012 Topps Heritage Bryce Harper Auto would be pretty nice. I'd settle for that. If you'd like to, if you'd like to switch that up. we go. Box number seven. Kyle Lewis, another one out of their live. Freddie Freeman base. Another bazooka back. Somebody won this one. AJ Minter. Bazooka back. Yeah. AJ Minter. 
There we go. All righty then, boys. Looks like Thomas got that one. Thomas, nice hit, buddy. Nice hit, Thomas. AJ Minner. Bazooka. <laughs> Travis is only a 24 plus hour drive away. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man. It's not too much for a Bud Light, is it? What else you got going on, brother? <laughs> George lived in Tacoma for a couple of years. That couldn't be more different from where we're at in Washington. It's a, a desert here. We I think we see about eight inches of rainfall per year. Yeah, we're kind of in the desert, but the cool part is, is we're in a desert, but we're also in the middle of three rivers, so we get kind of a cool little balance of not much winter, but... Um, we're close to enough to go to the mountains or whatever, but pretty good weather here. Logan Allen base. Mookie base. Juan Soto base. Vlad Jr., fortune teller again. Oops, I can't pull those, seems like. <laughs> Several of those so far. There's a Marvel base rookie. Dead boy. Well, James Marvel. Mavro Marvel. No, there's the regular Barrios. So there's a significant yeah. difference yeah. <laughs> between that and the one that we were talking about. So Not subtle. Very, very good find there. Mike Yastrzemski, base. Yeah, George, not too far from Yakima, about a, a one-hour drive or so. We're in Richland. Yeah, so if you took the, the highway towards Walla Walla from Yakima, you'd pretty much run into us. Oh, this one's upside down and yeah. backwards, or just backwards, I guess. So that must be some sort of short print. Oh, 42. Yeah. Jackie yeah. Robinson Day. And that is Smith Jr., who yes. I believe was up for auction earlier. I think so, too. And Todd, we are more than happy to pull a Geo or Snell Auto. <laughs> we would like love to, to do that. Every pack. I would be really excited about that. So... This is the Jackie Robinson day, as you can see the 42 on his jersey there for Dwight Smith Jr. Baltimore Orioles, Dwight Smith Jr. Jackie Robinson day, short print variation. Javi Baez base. Robel Garcia base. Acuna, Wheel of Fortune. Glaber Base. And Stanley, you said it's hard to tell what he's pulling. Oh, there's a Baez. Uh, how can I help you, Stanley? I want to help you. Here's a Baez no nameplate, by the way, just while we're while we're at it. What's it? The camera focus? Is it the Jump distance? Here. Read the name. Like what? What is it? I I'm happy to help. I just need to know what you want. There's a Baez no nameplate. It's a nice one. Baez is a really good player. Is that also players weekend is it a double short print oh I don't know anybody know how to identify that we, we could try to find another bias and probably then be able to tell because I think the players weekends have different pictures but um, I mean if you're asking then it probably is because you guys seem like you guys know what's going on so um, I don't know that for sure but it's definitely possible I, I guess you know, maybe we could pull it up on eBay or maybe one of you guys could do it and see. Anthony K base rookie, Seth Brown base rookie, Botto base, Chavis base. He has 
uh, pinstripes on his jersey there. Uh, it's not pure white, but. Young base rookie. Bo Bichette, rookie fortune teller. That's a nice one. Put an auto in some Congratulations on that. Is he able to see better? Was it Stanley? Was he? Can you see better, Stanley? Yeah, Stanley hasn't commented again. I'm sorry, man. If uh, I'm trying to do the best I can, if I'm happy to try to help Rosarina base. Oh, there's another Reggie. Another Reggie. How about that? That's not that common to hit two of those guys in the same box. Although we hit a bench, short print and a bench in the last box, which was kind of cool. Yeah. Another Reggie high number retired short print there. That's a good, good day for Reg on the old Gypsy Queen break today. So good job, Reg. Dylan C's base and Brendan McKay base, rookies. There are some teams that seem to be uh, an extension of a minor league <laughs> <laughs> system for other teams, but uh, hopefully the Orioles do hang on to those good young players. Oh, there's a Shoyo Tani fortune teller. Zooch, rookie base. There's a Puck base rookie, followed by an Aquino base rookie. A decent pack there. Some value in there. Oh, we got a hit in this one, boys. Zach Collins base. Bryce Harper's covering our surprise. Oh, Taylor Ward, rookie auto. Taylor Ward, Angels dude. Rookie auto. Nathan. Nice. Nathan. Nathan coming through with a big big winner there. Oh my god. All right. Taylor Ward of the Angels. The auto rookie. Very nice. Taylor Ward. Boom. Solid. We like it. <laughs> you kind of tricked uh, five against there. With the harbor? Yeah. Oh, he, he thought since it was an angel, oh. it was going to be trout. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think of that, but it was an angel. And I understand how you could get your heart pressure because, I mean, if that would have been a trout, whew, be nothing, nothing wrong with, with Ward. I mean, he might be good. He, he did all right last year, but I think trout. I mean, you already know what you're getting there. Like there there's no there's no guessing on that deal. Yeah, Looks like we got a, a black and white in here. So that could be any player. And that's exciting. Justin Dunn, rookie. Justin Dunn, black and white. Seattle Mariners rookie. Those of us up here like it. 13 out of 50. Justin Dunn, black and white, rookie. Nelson Brandon. Nelson with the winner. Or is it Brandon Nelson? Or Brandon Nelson, I'm not sure. We have Nelson, Brandon, could be Brandon Nelson, whatever, whichever way it is. Congratulations to Brandon Nelson or Brandon Nelson or Nelson Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Dunn, rookie, black and white, out of 50. Number 13 out of 50. Nice one. We like it. <laughs> Travis said, I'm a Yankees fan. I bought a box of Inception. 
pulled a Glaber Torres orange auto. I was so excited until I realized it was Tyro Estrada. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Sounds like my luck. Right oh, there. dude, I love it. I love it. Oh, there's a Jordan, the world. A rookie subset. Nothing wrong with stockpiling a bunch of Jordans. I think that dude can really hit. Probably something like the next David Ortiz type of dude, I think. Yeah, especially if he knows what's coming. <laughs> yeah, they keep banging those drums down there in Houston. <laughs> also known as garbage cans to let him know it's coming. I think it's going to be a lot easier for him. But... Okay, Houston fans, we're just giving you some hard times because we're in the West with you and you're really good. Yeah, so we're just don't, jealous. Don't get all up in arms. We're just doing what everyone else is doing and teasing you a little bit because we're just jealous that you're really good. So before you get all goofy with us, we're just kidding. We're just Sorry, jealous. Sorry, Stephen. We are jealous. <laughs> Absolutely. We would take your entire roster onto our team if uh, you wanted. That would be fine. Okay. Okay. There's a Robert in a spot that it could be something good. Oh, boy. Okay. It's a base, but it's still good. So every card is a rookie so far. Leba, Hilliard, May, Robert. That's a good start. And then Reese Hoskins, who's not a bad player. Good one. Good pack. Robert. Or Robert, or whatever. I've seen different things where people claim that he's supposed to be called something different. We got a blue or indigo in this one. I'm going to go that route. I'm just going to call it both. Yep. Um, <laughs> Munoz, base rookie. If there's more of them. Oh, there's a Bo Bichette base rookie. Nice, nice. Oh, Jose Abreu. Mm -hmm. Nice. I that saw the White Sox jersey and I was wondering if it might be Robert. Getting excited. Yeah. Out of 250. Number 46 out of 250. And he's got some sort of crazy high number. Oh, it's he's got, it ends in a nine. But indigo. I think that's indigo because I think blue is the lower numbers. But that's a, that's a good one still. He can hit, man. And he, it, those Cuban dudes that come up here, those guys can play. Abreu is no exception. They, the White Sox could be really good if this season ever starts. Kevin's back. He's asking if there's any major Bellinger or Kikuchi hits. I know there's no Bellingers because we've just had a couple. Like, I think there might be like a fortune teller or something Bellinger or one of the tarot cards. Um, but enough, no, no autographs or anything. But there was a Bichette base in this pack that I just opened. But yeah, and then Kikuchi's. There's been a lot of Kikuchi's, but I think all base so far. Um, we'll do a recap of all the hits. Um, I I don't think we've hit anything big of Kikuchi yet, but we'll see. I mean, there's all those chromes too, so there's lots of chances for stuff. Austin Nola rookie base. There's a the Hunter Dozier base. Austin signed a Trout. jersey for my kids at the game. I think it was within the first week that he got called up. Yeah, and Austin so Nola, yeah. They're forever his fans. No matter what he does from here on out, he'll be famous in their minds. Yeah, it's cool. And those guys are really cool guys, especially the ones that are so traveled in the minor leagues and put in all that time to get that fame. They relish it, especially when they first come up. There's an Aaron Judge, Fortune Teller. Nice card. Well, Austin, so five against, is asking if uh, Austin's anything special. You know, I, I think he's a good player. Yeah. He spent a lot of time in the minor leagues. There's something that the scouts were seeing that he didn't quite make the grade, but he, he did a great job at the end of the year last year, and and we're, we're real happy for him. Well, I think that the thing that he was missing is he kept trying to be a shortstop, and he's not a shortstop at the big league level. He's a good hitter, and he's a decent shortstop, but at the he's not quite good enough at either to be a big league shortstop, so they put him behind the plate and made him a utility player, and a guy that can play shortstop and can catch... <laughs> that can hit is extremely valuable. So it, it took him a while to find a niche, but I think he's gonna be in the league for a while. He's, he's, a, he's a good player. Uh, Vlad Bass and Endeavors, the world. But yeah, I, I really like Austin Nola. I think he's real versatile, which is where his value is. And, and he can hit, he can handle a bat. I mean, he's, he doesn't have a ton of power, but 
if you need a guy to get a hit or get on base, he's going to give you as good a bat as anybody. We got a hit in this in this pack, boys. George, uh, I don't recall anything for Mr. Leva. David, welcome back. Um, oh, there's a Young Otto. That's Alex Young. I know for a fact that I remember that invoice. I know for a fact that Alex Young sold. Somebody's got him. Jeff. Jeff with the hit. The Arizona Diamondbacks hit. I know he had another Arizona Diamondback player that he wanted to. So congratulations, Jeff. A little Alex Young, left-handed pitcher, which I am a huge fan of as I was a left-handed pitcher in my day. Um, rookie auto. Nice one. Congratulations, Jeff. Bump the camera. Sorry, guys. My bad. Uh, Pujols base. Steven Matz. I think David was asking if we had any real big hits. We got a, a Chance Adams. Uh, patch. Patch Auto. Auto. Or Jersey Auto. And then we got a red. Who was the red? Yeah, we did get a red, um, which is out of 10. Is number one out of 10 also. Yeah, Patrick Corbin. Patrick red. Corbin, yeah. Um, and then, I mean, we've had a lot of rookie autographs. We just... You know, it hasn't been like a Robert or Jordan or Lux or, you know, any of the, the big, big ones. But we've had some pretty, um, some you know, I, I don't think it's been bad, but we haven't caught fire yet. But I'm, I'm fully anticipating that. And sure. David, I know that you were with us last time, and you probably saw that first box where we had two Jordan Alvarez's. So we got a little spoiled by that. Yeah. Well, and things can change quickly, too. I mean, what if this box has two Yordans and, or, you know, or whoever, you know, you want to hit? I mean, it, it's so interesting how this whole thing works because it seems like one person can't miss one night, one person can't miss the other night. Or, you know, in this case, when player breaks, it's usually more like two or three people hit pretty good all night and the rest of them just hit okay. And, you know, it, but it can change on a dime. Like, Yordan, if it, if it weren't for that first box... You know, it would have been an okay at best night for Jordan last time, but it turned into the best night ever just with one box. So it's hard to say what's going to happen. If we knew, this would be easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd love to see a, a batting lineup card pull through. Oh, man, that would be so cool. I, I would love that. Wouldn't even matter who it was. It just... Yeah. Uh, just to see one and get to put your hands on one. Well, I think mostly they're really good players, right? I mean, I think there's only a handful of them. And I know that, like, I think Labor Torres is one. And, I mean, there's some dudes, definitely some dudes in there. That would be really neat. So, like, base. By his base. Bubba Starling. Acuna Jr. base. Eloy. Demerit. Oh, there's a Lux base. Oh, there's a Moran no name plate. So, I don't know. Colin Moran. No name plate. Pirates. Show print. Or shallow base. You're on. Fortune teller. Speak of the devil. There he is.
there's an Alfonso Thunder. Pete. That's cool. Such, Collins. Oh, we got a hit. We got a hit. Oh, check it. Lance McCullers Jr. with the auto hit. Lance McCullers Jr. Steven. Ow. There it is for you, buddy. Boom, Steven. I know you like that. <laughs> I know you like that card, Steven. McCullers Jr. Auto. Boom. Right in your wheelhouse, brother. Steven's been on with this wire to wire, so he earned that. Honor. Yeah, he earned it for sure. We got a blue in here or indigo. <laughs> As I save face, Tim Lopes, rookie. <laughs> Xander Bogarts. Kirby Yates. Kirby Yates of the Padres, who is an amazing pitcher in a market that doesn't recognize how good he is. Much like our market. 250, 200, or 210 out of 250. 210 out of 250. I apologize for my blindness. <laughs> Kirby Yates, 210 out of 250, meaning it's indigo. I guess that's indigo. I think. <laughs> According to what you guys said, and I trust you guys after that whole Berrios thing, that was impressive. Because I, I, I would look at it again and pass it by again, probably. You guys know what's up. Well, good night, David. Thanks for joining us. So if you get at least uh, six point two five hours of sleep out of the six point five before you have to go to work. Yeah. Hey. Thanks, man. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. And thanks for being an essential. Absolutely. Thanks for working through all this mess that we're dealing with. And hope you have a great day tomorrow. And sleep tight. There's a Yelly fortune teller. And a Yelly base. Yelly Yelly. <laughs> Not to be confused with Dilly Dilly. Yelly, I mean, we haven't had anything huge for Yelly, but there's definitely some quantity tonight for him. <clears throat> Stomach. Yu Chang base. And thank you, David, you too. Good night. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Base. I'd also like to see one of those like old dudes autos that they have in here. Is there oh, man. There's something backwards, upside down or something in here. Facing the wrong way, we'll put it that way. Alize. Being the age that I am, I love the players from that era. Okay, so this is a Yon Mankata. That looks like it could be a player's weekend. It so might be. You want to check the code or it's um, number on the side of his head? It's not a forty-two, is it? Oh, dude, I my eyes are so bad I can't tell. Can you? I, we can look for a code or something maybe too, but um, I think that might be something. I'm not positive. Do you guys know <laughs> by looking at it? It's your Mankata. I know somebody won him in the auction. Certainly a short print based on the code, but I don't know what the codes are outside of that. Okay, well that's good. There's a Yordan base again. It's good for whoever has him. Armed forces. The hat is green. Oh yeah. Your color uh, vision is much better than mine. Yeah, wow. I, I I couldn't tell that, but now that I see it, you are more than likely right. There's an Aroldis Chapman exit. Which I think that is the coolest name for that card ever, being a closer. Let's get 
that one on forces weekend into a oh yeah the I get, it looks like the socks is definitely like camo or something now that I look closer but man good eyes good find you know what's going on you've done this a time or two huh you on Makata Armed Forces Mike I saw that too cool yeah you guys are on it man thank you we appreciate the the feedback so we can get those things protected correctly I mean not that usually everything shows up fine but it's always nice to take those extra precautions on the ones that are a little more valuable than the others, so appreciate that. Hernandez, Wong, Diaz, all base rookies just right off the bat, three in a row. Oh, there's a Tim Anderson logo swap, followed by a Nico Horner rookie and a Juan Soto. So nice that was a solid pack there. Tim Anderson also has an owner in this auction, so that is good. Logo swap, Tim Anderson. Congratulations. Lizardo base. Fraley base. Honesty base. Lots of base. Ace of base. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Okay, we've got a fortune teller in this one. Mauricio Dubon base. Oh, there's a Robert a fortune teller. Okay. Or Robert, whatever you choose. However you choose to Is address him. We're not French. <laughs> there's Marvel. Boy. <laughs> Everyone will know that that is your boy. Yes. Old James. Anywhere you fit in, bro? <laughs> Stephen, uh, Travis said that those uh, armed forces are hard to find. Stephen said, the cool thing about the non-numbered parallels is that you can actually build a set off of eBay from people who don't realize what they're selling. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> the sets of those rare things are sure cool. Yeah, they are really cool. There's a hit in this one, boys. We got something coming up here, I I, I think. Oh, it's, oh my God, it's a little one. Oh boy. I, I don't know it's what this mini. is. I've I never, think those are many rookies. I've never seen this before. Alizé. Adbert Alizé mini Gypsy Queen autograph. Well, how about that? And they are numbered as well out of 99 and this is number 77 out of 99 that is pretty cool so <laughs> Edward Alizé Mike. Mike all right let's go Mike congratulations Mike boom shakalaka my friend there it is 77 out of 99 Edward Alizé very cool, man. I haven't seen one of those yet, so that's really neat. Nice hit. Congratulations, Mike. Almost got his jersey number. Looks like he signed it with a number 73. Ooh, that would have been that's even cooler. Number 77. Yeah, the eBay one of one there. Pull that, baby. Fernando Tatis Jr. Base. Shohei Itani Base. Glaber base, Kershaw base. Stanley was asking who that was. Alzale. Alzale is a Cubs prospect. His name's Adbert. A D B E R T. Al Alzale. I think it's A L Z O L A Y, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah. Oh, there's a no name plate. Chicago White Sox. Eloy Jimenez. Eloy, no nameplate. That's a nice little short print for Eloy. I know that that one sold. Again, you guys know better than the rest of us. Very good. Eloy Jimenez, no nameplate. Boom. 
Thank you, Jeremiah. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a good one. Thanks, Jeremiah. Have a good night, man. Take care. We'll talk soon. Michael Baez. Ravello, base rookie. Another Bregman, the Joker. Yeah, the, the Eloy hit was uh, no nameplate. No nameplate Eloy, yeah. And there's a Brennan McKay, uh, 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 Fortune Teller rookie for whoever won him. Aquino base. Well, there's a Robert. It's in a position that it might. No, no, no short print. But there's a Clemente. Yeah, nice. There's a Clemente, Roberto Clemente, retired high number. Roberto's uh, teased you a couple times being in that short term position. Yeah, man, he's been right where I think it might be. Maybe, I mean, maybe a bazooka or logo swap or something, but so far, nothing. Um, but we'll keep working on it. All right, box number nine. We're getting on the home stretch here, boys. I'm hoping for some big hits for those of you that are on the feed and, and those of you that are not. Uh, Last couple boxes. Let's get big here. All right. We're need some surgery. I know, right? Fine tuning. <laughs> Getting close to those chrome packs. Those yeah, are fun. yeah I'm, I'm excited for those. Hopefully, we can find an autograph in there tonight. That would be really exciting. Here we go, box number nine, boys. Let's get her cracking here. There's something backwards in this first pack already, which is always fun. It's a Kevin Kiermeyer of some sort. Oh, Players nice. Weekend. Kevin like Kiermeyer. Quite a few of those Players Weekend cards. This well, we've had more is. bazookas this time, too. We yeah. just haven't had the huge name rookies that we usually have. Um, or not usually that we had last time, um, but you know there's still time. We we still got four four autos left. And that's you know there's plenty of chances still. And we've got a ton of other short prints that we didn't get last time, so it's all good. Now it's young base. Braun. another Vlad Jr. fortune teller. Vlad Jr. Spot's been hitting the fortune teller like crazy tonight. Nothing wrong with that. Leva, Hillier. Nelly Cruz base. Big fan of Nelson Cruz, have been forever. We loved him here with the Mariners. We sad to see him go. Understand why he had to, because we couldn't really it didn't make sense to pay him. We got a hit in here. Dustin May base. Oh, it's a black and white. Okay. It wasn't an autograph, but it is a rookie. And it's Dom it's Dom Nunez. And it's number 50 out of 50. So last card of the print run. Which is actually quite cool. Nelson got that one. Nelson again. Dang, bro. Crushing it, Nelson. Dom Nunez. 50 out of 50. Boom. Nice hit, Nelson. It's interesting. We got a, a number one, a serial number, number one, and then we got the 50 out of 50. It is interesting. That's very not, not super common. It's neat. Nola base. Austin, that is. Zach Gallon base. Rookie rookies. I hate when I open like that. Base. 
face. Bogart's face and another Hira fortune teller. Live yeah. auction winner. Yes. <laughs> There, boys. All right, Rizzo, O'Hearn, Story, Acuna Jr., Will of Fortune, Mike Trout, base. There's a hit in this one. That's an autograph. Um, Cease, or I'm sorry, Clace, uh, Brousseau, base. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Tyro Estrada. Unbelievable, since we got two in the last case of him. Yeah, what are the odds? Oh, my gosh. Edward got that one. Edward, all right. Edward's having a decent night, man. It's good stuff, Edward. Uh, Tyro Estrada, autograph. There you go. Congratulations, man. Good stuff. Okay. Rogers base, Corsham base, Lee Chang base. Vlad Jr. base. <laughs> Should have been Glaber. Yep. Anthony Ketty base. Jeff Brown base. Speaking of Glaber, there's a base. Base Glaber. Labor of love. Dubon base rookie. Marvel base rookie. Ed's boy. <laughs> Get one top inception. Marvel <laughs> autograph. And he becomes your boy for life. There's a Jordan, the world rookie uh, subset again. So good job there, Jordan owner. Oh, no name plate. Adam Hazley. No nameplate, Adam Hazley. Albert Alzelay base. Oh, I just got his auto. There's oh, the there's a logo swap. Gene Segura. Have a day, Gene Segura. I think there's a blue Gene Segura as well out of 150. So Gene Segura leaves Seattle Mariners and has luck all of a sudden, which <laughs> isn't that weird. Logo swap, Gene Segura. Congrats to the owner of Gene Segura. Pretty much can guarantee you he's going to go in the Hall of Fame now that he left the Mariners. <laughs> <laughs> He'll at least hit 50 home runs in a season shortened to 42 games. Soon, Logan Allen base, Isan Diaz base, 
Michael Chavis, fortune teller. Nico Horner, base. Johnny Bench. It's cool. High number Johnny Bench. Retired. Short print. Congrats, Johnny Bench. We can't miss yet, it seems like. Which is good. Johnny Bench. Retired short print. Congratulations. Spot again, base. Another trick. Yeah, but another Robert. I guess that's not all bad. It's not completely <laughs> a trick. That's not that bad. It could be better, but it certainly could be worse. Pretty much any other card in the set. <laughs> oh, there's a blue or indigo or something coming up. Man, Bo Bichette. Base. Kingery. Sean Kingery. Out of 250. 93 out of 250. Sean Kingery. Pretty high prospect. Um, and started off real good last year. I hope, hopefully he can adjust back to the pitcher. But um, he's supposed to be a good player. I don't... I mean, he's kind of been around a little bit now. But he's... I think he's still got a chance to be good. Sean Kingery out of 250. Baez, Wheel of Fortune, Brad Raw Base, Aaron Judge, Fortune Teller. To it. Getting down to it. There's a hit in this one. We kind of knew it was coming. Zach Collins. Who do we got, boys? Come on. Big money, no whammies. And it's a black and white. <laughs> Will Smith. Black and white Will Smith auto. James. Unbelievable. Five out of 50. Nice one. Nice hit. Will Smith auto out of 50. Black and white. Boom. Real cool. I think we've hit more like variation autographs than we hit last time. Like different kinds. Yeah. Just the, the names haven't been the huge ones, but still pretty cool. Aquino base. All right. Last box, guys. Ready? Let's do it. Let's do it.
trying to escape. It slid right out. All right, 10 to 10, let's do this. Last box. Here we go. Get it on. Short prints of all ACs. Short print rookie. I mean, not short prints. Base rookies. Jeez. Here we go. Box B, box 10. Mm -hmm. All delirious and stuff. You're on. Base. Hernandez base. Dunn base. Okay, base rookie. Seeger, bazooka back. Kyle Seeger, bazooka back. There you go. Kyle Seeger had an owner in this one. Congratulations on the bazooka back, Kyle Seeger. Bazooka backs made up for lost time on this case. They sure did. Kyle Seeger, bazooka back. Congratulations on that. Good, good pull. Good Kyle Seeger pull. Hopefully Kyle Seeger can find his way. It seemed like he was starting to figure it out last year. He really was one of my favorite all-time Mariners for a while. And then the last few years, he's just been infuriating um, with his inability to adapt. <laughs> but Lazardo base, uh, he started seeming like he was figuring it out at the end of last year. And I hope that's true because we could sure use him, especially with how much money we're paying him to be at least a starting lineup player. <laughs> Shohei Otani, fortune teller. Cool Otani. There's a Bellinger, the star. Bellinger, the star. It's Nico Horner. Yeah. There he is. Second box in a row with a Nico hit. Nico Horner. That's a nice one. Zach, congratulations. No way, Zach. Congrats, man. Nico Horner auto rookie. That is a solid, solid pull. Congrats, man. It's cool. Good card. I like him. He's a Cub. He's a good player. Looking forward to seeing how his career progresses. He seems like another one of those guys that might end up being a really good one out of this class. Carter Keegan. Acuna Jr. Base. It's backwards and it's Ted Williams. Maybe this will be a short print? Yes! No name play. Ted Williams, no name play. Short, short Ow! Print. There we go, boys and girls. The double short. Ted Williams, no name play. Ryan. Nice hit, Ryan. Congratulations, man. That's a good one. That's a, Those are tough, man. Real tough. Good for you. This quality hit. Love it. 
It's the second veteran short print we got in this, right? It is, yeah. Double yeah. short, yeah. Right. It's pretty cool. It's not very likely according to the odds. No, that's for sure. Walker Bueller, King of Wands. Rookie Hunter Harvey. It's a nice card. Nice rookie short print. Hunter Harvey ends up being a dude. This could be a, return, be a nice little card for you. Hunter Harvey short print rookie. Nice one. Mark Trout base. We got a blue or indigo in here. Chris Bryant. Oh, Luis Castillo. 150. It's blue, I think. 30, 30 out of 150. Luis Castillo. Bichette, rookie, fortune teller. That's a nice one. Congratulations. Arias. AJ Puck. down to it here let's get one more big dog at least before we start the chromes and then go crazy in there how about it Hunter base nice fancy base max scherzer back-to-back -back maxes just different last names mike Yastrzemski. awesome last name <laughs> a cow yes there you go the veterans we've hit a lot more veterans this round than we did last time yeah um that's I, good I spreads it well seen a cow yet. it's pretty cool he's always got seems to have that pose on where you can see those icy blue eyes cow ripkin jr high number short print nice one verlander base Hilliard May rookies. Nico Horner rookie. Horner's coming up here at the end. Oh, Verlander, no nameplate. Mm, nice one. Yeah, that is a nice one. Verlander, no nameplate. Verlander is one of those guys that if you look in the, if you believe in what Beckett says, his stuff's all going up, as I think it should be. Um, legendary pitcher that we get a witness consistently. Um, so, nice pull. Good, good card there. I like that one. Brother 
a base. Oh, there's a there's a Bryce Harper Wheel of Fortune. Bryce Harper Wheel of Fortune. Base base. <laughs> Face of base. <laughs> There's a studio, a fortune teller. That's a studio base card where he's really bearing down. <laughs> I love that one. Makes me laugh every time. Vlad Guerrero Jr. base. We are getting down to the chrome. We're excited about it. The last two packs here in the regular, and the chrome is coming right up. It should be fun, but I think there's another autograph in here in the last two packs, if I remember it's correctly. Getting close. Um, Pete Alonzo, base. All right, last pack of the, of the regular packs here. And there is a hit in there, that's an auto. Who we got, boys, who we got? Danny Peralta. Danny. Danny Peralta of the Arizona Diamondbacks with the hit. Danny Peralta, auto. David Peralta, excuse me, David. Danny is on a different team. David Peralta, I should have known that. Bad. Congratulations on that. Arizona D-backs, Bellinger base. All right, well, that's the, that's the end of the 10 boxes besides the one little piece of gold nugget in each one that we get to check and see. What's in there? So we got 10 of these packs of three chrome inserts. There's usually a refractor of a blue or gold variety in there. Not always, but typically there's at least one. Um, sometimes, if you're lucky, there's some autographs that come along with them. And that's what we're obviously hoping for. There's a Garrett Cole blue or... It's 150, so I think that's Indigo. 110, I think. Out of 150, my eyes do not work well with some of those serial numbers, but that's a nice Garrett Cole. And then right behind him is a Gary Sanchez, so the Yankees pack here, followed by a Mondesi. So Ad Adalberto Mondesi um, Chrome. Okay, Paul Goldschmidt. Ooh, Jose Altuve. Who out of 99? 82 out of 99, so I think that's blue. So I think the lower numbers are blue. Nice card. Those are really pretty. I really like the, I like the thick stock that they come up to. I, these are really neat. And they're telling us the lag is back, so we'll Okay, let's refresh. Go with the refresh on the video again. Thanks for the heads up, guys. Sorry about that. We're rebooting it, and I haven't. For it to go before we do anything else, there is another Hira Chrome, is the last card in this Chrome pack. So, Hira's just basically been a fireball. This, this case, Should be back up and I think we're now. back and running. So, all right, here we go. Next, third pack. Okay, third pack. We didn't do anything while you were gone. Well, they said that they missed the second pack, so if oh, you want to rerun that. Sure, I can rerun pack. the second pack before I this. So it was Paul Goldschmidt was on top, Chrome, followed by Altuve Blue out of 99, and Castanhera, who's been a fireball in the second case, just Chrome. Okay? 
So that gets us caught up to the third pack, and here we go. Barrios, ooh, there's a gold one in here. That's nice. Benintendi, gold. Nice. 35 out of 50. That is a solid card. Congratulations, Benintendi owner. That's a good one. Gold out of 50. Andrew Benintendi, refractor. Followed by Matt Chapman, base chrome. Sinzel in the front. Reyes, friend mill Reyes. Blue or it's out of 150, so I believe that's indigo. Friend mill Reyes and Didi Gregorius. Let's sleeve up this friend mill real quick. And move on to the next. Oh, the number card's on the back of this one. DJ LeMayhew, Walker Bueller, and Will Smith, who has also been a fireball in this box, or this case. Pretty solid night for Will Smith. Out of 150 to boot, so 87 out of 150. Congratulations on Will Smith. Carlos Santana, good hitter. We had him for a minute. 150, so 113 out of 150. That's Indigo, I think. I'm saying it out loud so I can figure it out in my own head. <laughs> <laughs> so Santana out of 150. Bieber and Josh Bell. So Shane Bieber and Josh Bell are the chromes that are left in that pack. Not Justin Bieber. <laughs> Not to be confused with the pop singer. Ooh, there's Blackman. I like Charlie Blackman. Oh, 99. Nice, blue. 26 out of 99. Charlie Blackman. Uh, the other two are Eduardo Escobar and Yuli Gurriel. It's a nice one. Oh, and it's out of 99. So that's good. Blue Pete Alonzo. Let's hope that helps. Blue Pete Alonzo out of 99. Good one. Um, another LeMayhew and another Gregorius. So a couple bonus chromes there for LeMayhew and Gregorius here in the last the waning packs of the whole deal. Okay, Ozzy, Ozzy Albies, Xander Bogarts, and Hendricks. Kyle Hendricks, 250, or I'm sorry, 150. Jeez, my eyes are terrible. 147 out of 150. Almost the last one in that print run, too. So, Kyle Hendricks at 150. All right, last one. Let's, let's hope for the best here. Oh, Bryce Harper. That's what you get for bidding on the guy. Oh, and Mike Trout for a bit. Hey, nice. And Corbin. What a good pack. That was a good pack. Good one to end on. Bryce Harper. Out of 99, no less. So that is helpful. And it kind of goes to prove that you're idea of bidding on the guy that's on the front of the box is not a bad idea. <laughs> 33 out of 99. Bryce Harper. Very nice blue. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll run through the hits real quick. The major hits. Really do appreciate it. I hope you didn't lose too much sleep tonight. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, guys. We really appreciate it. We'll get another break on here. I don't know, a week or so. 
um, maybe sooner, but look out for auctions and uh, feel free to subscribe uh, to our thing. We really appreciate it. Um, let's review these uh, autographs real quick um, and we'll put it to bed. So Will Smith, Will Smith auto, Will Smith. Allard, Colby Allard, Texas Rangers, Colby Allard, autograph. Carter Keyboom, kaboom, auto. Dustin May, auto rookie, it's a nice hit. Shed Long, don't be confused, that little guy's got some juice. Shed Long. How about a Michael Baez out of 50, black and white, rookie, auto? That's how you do it. Michael Baez out of 50, rookie, auto, black and white. And then, Keston Hira, logo swap, autograph. Out of the live auction, <laughs> which is pretty exciting. And it is also numbered out of 99. Uh, 55 out of 99. Logo swap, Keston Hira, autograph. Short print out of 99. Dylan Cease, rookie. Autograph. It's a nice card. It's a good win. Loris Grail Jr., who had a good night. There was some other variations that were pulled as well. Good night for Loris Grail Jr. Auto. David Peralta, because I keep wanting to call him Danny. Uh, David Peralta, autograph. Arizona Diamondbacks. Dustin May, again. <laughs> <laughs> so really good night for Dustin May also autograph rookie you found on that long flowing hair yes and then Isan Maxima Diaz autograph rookie I like Isan it's a cool cool autograph too he's got a kind of a pretty unique autograph uh, Taylor Ward yeah Taylor Ward um, Angels guy rookie auto good one he, he got some time last year and he was pretty good. Um, Alex Young, rookie auto, Diamondbacks, left hand pitcher, Alex Young. Uh, McCullers, Lance McCullers Jr., um, really good pitcher. Was hurt for the bulk of last year, but um, he's back and he's dominating. He strikes everybody out. And then this one we didn't haven't seen any of, so that's a pretty neat pull too. This um, Advert Alize rookie um, autograph mini um, pretty cool I haven't seen one before um, it's also it's numbered out of 99 and it was 77 out of 99 so that's pretty neat one Tyra Estrada third one in two cases <laughs> Tyra Estrada autograph and then a Will Smith black and white autograph which don't get confused with the other one we pulled that was just a regular one Will Smith has been hitting in our options. Um, this one is out of 50 with the black and white. Will Smith, six out of 50. Um, really cool. I wasn't sure if that if it, if it was 16 or six, but if it was 16, it would have been his jersey number, but I think it's six, so it's not. And Nico Horner, um, nice, uh, really nice prospect for the Cubs, uh, rookie auto. So those are the major hits we got, um, you know, I think more than last time in terms of variations and those kind of things. Um, so we'll be sending out all cards guys. So, uh, thanks a lot for your time and, and, uh, for your bids and hopefully we'll see you back again next time. Um, other than that, you got anything to say, buddy? No, uh, thank you very much. We appreciate it. It was a great time interacting, fun live auction to start things off and I uh, hope you, hope you come back to join us. Thanks a lot guys. Good night.